Collinsville's tonight. Moved them up. Yeah, they're talking about snow tomorrow night. So no kidding. Yeah, so I didn't know if you, you were scouting. That's either. the first time. For you. <laughs> well, especially with no I've snow on the ground. Before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's no snow on the ground. So yeah. I don't know. West Collinsville will be interesting game. Collinsville's right. playing. That, that's tonight. Yeah, and so is all in Edwardsville. Where where is the Collinsville game at? Collinsville. It's in Collinsville. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, John, you made some runs at him the second half, got it to 12 a few times, 11 once, but that was a sort of a tough lead to overcome when they, they had such a big lead. Yeah, they did. You know, we had what got us, honestly, um, one, they, they made 11 shot, 11 threes. Right. You know, so, so being honest, being down 14, I think it was, to a team that made 11 threes and a half of basketball is not a horrible number. You know, they made one three in the second half. But they, they got some threes. We had some mis- miscues, miscommunications in transition, um, you know, and miscommunications on a couple of screens. They run a pretty good motion. So I thought that was that was the difference. You know, some of our breakdown, but, again, some of them just making shots uh, gave them the separation. Yeah, they weren't all, they weren't all uncontested. They made some good shots, sort of like when SEMO was here. I mean, exactly, they, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, they did. They made some shots. And, again, coming, coming down the stretch, you know, everybody's uh, kind of bottlenecked and, and – uh, with this league race, you know, they stepped up and they made the plays they had to make early. You know, you referenced the second half. I thought our guys really rallied. Um, the guys that were on the floor played with a good amount of energy and passion. Uh, I thought that's why we were able to make a couple runs at them. You know, we didn't get under double digits because right when we needed those stops, we just didn't get that big rebound. You know, we had it, like you said, 11, 12, 11, 12, somewhere in there, and they get a big rebound in the foul or a big rebound in the putback. Um, so, that was that was the difference in the margin. And they made their free throws too when you yeah. went for the steal. The, the press, I guess it was one two two. You used a little bit. Sort of. uh, yeah, a yeah. couple different. Yeah, and, and you got a six or eight old run sort of help you get back. But then it got to a point where you know the situation when time is running out, you had to foul them, and they make their free throws. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Brandon had a great first half, sixteen and eight, and then they sort of shut him down. Or he didn't get the ball. Or they shut him down a little bit in the second half, but McCoy got all his 12 in the second half, and Kinchin got all his 11 in the second half. So, you, you, I guess you were more inside out the first half and outside in the second half. Yeah, you know, pretty good balance. I mean, it was nice to see uh, have nice for Jalen and Dan to see the ball go through the rim a little bit, whether it's free throws or or shots, because we'll need those shots on Saturday for sure against UT Martin Zone. I thought Brandon had a really good first half. You know, and, and honestly, to your point, it wasn't necessarily post-production. You know, I mean, he made a three, he made a couple jumpers, and, and most of his points came off of offensive rebounds. You know, and I think he had five offensive rebounds mm-hmm. in the first half, and he didn't get another one. So, and it's not, I'm not saying it was lack of effort by Brandon at all, because I thought he had a good second half. You know, we tried to get him going and posted him several right. times, and he just wasn't able to finish. I thought Eastern did a pretty good job guarding him. You know, but it wasn't necessarily that we changed um, – our tactics have changed style of play. You know, Brandon just wasn't getting the rebounds that he got in the first half. I, I guess the big thing, too, with your shooting and scoring and everything, you just, you know, at times you look pretty good, at times not so good. It's sort of that you need that consistency the whole game. Yeah, and again, it was, it, the offense wasn't an issue. Um, mm-hmm. Let me see the numbers here. 65 points is not, not a bad number. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's five or six under where we'd like to be at, but, you know, Offense was not was not the concern necessarily, first or second half. You know, and again, defensively, we just we gave up too many shots. Some of them challenge shots, you know, with some open looks in the first half, and that was the difference in the game. Well, yeah, and they, and they get 40 points the first half and 33 come on trays. I mean, they had 11 trays, so that's yeah. almost all but seven points came on three-pointers. Right, exactly. And they, I mean, I give those guys credit. I mean, they came ready to play. They knocked shots down. So they were locked and loaded. Um, but they, they probably have not done that all year. You know, honestly. Well, I was sitting next to a guy from their paper, and he said that's the best they've shot yeah. all year and a half. Yeah. You know, yeah. For the whole year. Yeah. For a half. Uh, you got UT Martin coming in, looking at some payback there. They beat you down there, and this is every game's a key game in the conference. This is really a key game. Well, with five to go, every game matters. Um, every game is magnified, especially the games on your home floor. You know, we let one slip tonight, so, you know, the last thing you want to do is lose two in a row on your home floor with five to play. So, uh, but Martin is, is a really good team. We obviously lost to them there, you know, coming off that triple overtime game at SEMO. I think we ran out of gas a little bit. But 
Martin is playing better basketball now than what they were playing there. Um, they added a transfer from Memphis, you know, that did not play against us. Um, that, that's a talented ball player, and I think those other guys were playing playing a little bit better. So we're definitely going to have to bring our A game. Okay, sounds good. Thank oh. you. Hey, we're. Uh...